Mama Pay, where in my, uh, my, uh, okay, this is an African top that was given to me by uh, my fraternity brother in New York, uh, Dr. James Kanye, who's, uh, who's a history professor. But I just want to show you under here, I also have my Steve, uh, Steve Biko, well, this has a picture, but Steve Biko, I was, I was Steve Biko garment under here. So I was thinking, you know, everybody's talking about now, that's what I'm wearing here, but this this hat that I just bought, this hat, I took the label out already. But this hat costs like 50 Rand, which is basically like, basically for, with the exchange rate, like, like $4. Made in China. <laughs> so I got a Chinese hat, a made in China hat, not Chinese, Chinese hat, and an African top. What's the significance of that? Oh, by the way, if you hear children outside, because I'm in a location, I'm in Lebete, in a rural area in the Eastern Cape of, uh, of Southern Africa, or South Africa. So don't worry about the children, good background noise. I like the children. Anyway, what are they gonna grow up with? They're gonna grow up with, 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 with people saying that China's taking over Africa. Africa has like 55 nations, you know, and I think, uh, uh, and China must be at least 52 or something of those nations, maybe, maybe even more. Um, in, in, their, in their presence is the economic presence. They're dealing with infrastructure, you know, roads and railroads, whatever have you. And uh, in fact, they, they just got, I think they have one military base in Djibouti. It's like the U.S. used to have one military base in Djibouti, and then now they have their military presence. They're like, like 900 locations in all of Africa. Well, China, even though they're, they're, they're locations with their infrastructure, but now that they have one uh, uh, a Navy base in, in, in Djibouti, which is kind of interesting to me, because that's just a little steps and of course um, um, China is lending a lot of you know of billions of of um, and they used to call it US dollars billions of dollars to Africa for 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 development and of course the African leaders are just taking that just just taking that oh, I don't know what the conditions are because they, a lot of this stuff is done in secret so you don't know uh, and like uh, well they're done in secret so you don't you don't know you won't know for years afterwards they say oh this land was leased and then all of a sudden I mean, you, you, you lose your airport or your port you know then you say, well, what happened? Well, well, you made a deal with the Chinese and you defaulted on your deal. You couldn't pay that loan. And so they took, they took advantage of that. So the, 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 the thing is not that um, uh, China is taking over Africa the way people are trying to imagine in their mind. What's happening is the African leaders are signing away Africa to these things. It's just like during slavery time, you know, I'm a, I'm, I'm a, I'm a descendant of, of, of shadow slavery, you know, the Middle Passage thing all to, to, to North America. And a, 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 a large factor was that the Europeans wasn't, wasn't going to the interior of Africa. A lot of times you had little tribal wars, whatever have you. You have some prisoners you didn't want to take care of them. Some white guy comes along, you know, some European comes along, you give it to them, hey, take this guy away. And they, and they take him into slavery. And this is a lot of other stuff was happening back then. So. The same thing, it's, it, this history is his history, you know. In fact, I just want to go off topic for just a second. I was just reading, I think, uh, uh, the, the, the present uh, head, I think, is of Kenya. Is it Kenya? Yeah, that would be Kenya, I think, is um, uh, this guy, who, uh, Kenyatta, whatever, whoever the present guy is. He's about to sign, a, sign into, uh, into a law policy, whatever have you. This thing about uh, private privatizing prisons and I think it's Kenya, privatizing prisons in Kenya. And now, that is a direct, you know, that's taken from a, a page out of the United States, which has like 25% of the prison population of the world. And out of that, you know, that's a lot. You know? And a lot of those prisoners are, are black people. Uh, so, so, so what's happening here? The, they imitate the worst aspects of the colonizer, you know, and they, they bring it to here. So now what's going to happen? This, this guy, who, how do you know these politicians, whatever, they may have large swaths of, of land and they have a prison population that now is, is you have a privatized prison or the, or, and you can use that labor for, for, for farming or whatever have you. And so you, you put more money into your pockets. And this is what the Chinese do. They look at, at the, the corruption and the long-range plans of the current African leaders, old people, you know, the, and, and, and what they're doing is they're taking advantage of that. Like any business, nothing, nothing but taking advantage of, of stuff, you know. So they take advantage of that. So some guy, you know, signs away the, the thing, you know, um, and the Chinese been looking at them. They say, hey, this, this is a corrupt situation, or these people are doing whatever they have. They need this money to, to sustain their lifestyle, their 
their mistresses or whatever they're sustaining with the, with the money that they're that they're, they're taking from the, under the table from whoever they're taking it from, and so you have a situation where everybody the headline reads China's taking over Africa. Of course, they don't they, they don't mention about the United States and then France and, and you know England and how they they're always here, and I say like for uh, taking over. How do you mean take? Well, they just they uh, about. There used to be a situation where the uh, United States only had one military base in Af all of Africa. That was in Djibouti, right? Now it's like they have military presence like in like 900 areas <laughs> in all over Africa. Now you have China who has infrastructure all over Africa, and now they just got one military base, a naval base in Djibouti again. So what makes you think they're not going to do the same thing and have their military? Because remember they have a base. Uh, I think they just got a port. Yeah, it's going to be a military thing in Sri Lanka, right off of in, in India. So off of India, I should say. So. So what's, what's happening here? These can nations do what they have to do to protect their interests and their interests after if their economic interests, they have to protect their inter if economic interests with the military. This is the way it works. This is what, if to be a nation, you have to have a military to protect your thing. You have to have uh, an economy. You don't understand what I'm saying. So this whole, this, we need to stop this nonsense or we have a better analysis of that something is taking over. No, it, it takes two to tangle. They're taking over with the permission, with the express permission and uh, duplicit now, say duplicit, of, of 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 the nations, you know. So, look, this that's the way it goes these days, you know. And if you go for it, you go for it. But it it, it endangers the young people, the the next the generations following you. The children playing outside, singing their songs right now. They don't know what's going to happen to them, and you know when 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 they grow up, because they those people are signed that they they'll be long dead and gone, and and their lineage, you know, they they put their money someplace. So their children will be running out of Africa, you know, they will be running out of Africa to some place that they've created some paradise with the money that they that they grafted to or, or took from, uh, from from these deals. So it's a sad situation. I really wish people would uh, really just study and, and wake up. That's that's my wish. A wish for me. T from the Patterson's taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect. <laughs>